Welcome back to Skyblock Bronze Men. I have to do this really quick because I only remembered that Spooky Festival is right now and there's only five minutes left. If you're unfamiliar with what Skyblock Bronze Men is, it's kind of like halfway between a regular profile and Iron Man. I can use the bazaar, but I can't use the auction house or trades. In last episode, I got a whole bunch of talismans, which increased my damage a ton, and I started to kill some endermen. In this episode, I plan on doing similar things and progressing throughout the early game. The reason that I care about the fearmonger and actually need to do this right now during the spooky festival is because there's a couple things I need to buy from him, namely some talismans. Because I can actually just buy candy from the bazaar, I didn't need to do this event because that kind of would have been hard because I'm so early game, so I went out, bought some of the candies from the bazaar, and I bought the candy ring and the intimidation ring. I also used one more candy just because why not to buy a trick-or-treat bag because it's so cheap, but my question to myself is do I want some of these potions? Spirit potions would be kind of nice because they give a lot of speed and a decent bit of damage as well, so I think I'm probably going to get some of these so I can start doing zealots later in the video. Since the last episode, I've been collecting minions a whole bunch, so I actually unlocked most of the things that I need. I'm going to I collect my minions one more time before I look at what I've unlocked, and so I'll see you back once I'm done with that. With that all collected, I can sell everything I have for around 300,000 coins. I'm a little bit too lazy to set up sell orders right now, so I'm just going to insta-sell it, and that means in total I have 5.7 million coins in my purse. During the last episode, you already saw me unlock the gravity talisman, but I'm really close to the rest of the ones that I'm going for, and most of them I already have. The only one that I don't have is the experience artifact, which I am pretty close to. I already went out and crafted the piggy bank, so that one's done, but the next one that I'm gonna have to do is the quartz one or the day and night crystal. Each of the day and night crystals costs one enchanted quartz block, which is 400,000 coins, so I can buy two of those, and they each also require four enchanted quartz, so I'll buy eight of those. One formation like that to craft one of them, that's the day crystal, and the other formation is like that, and that crafts the night crystal. Next up is the night vision charm, which is four of each enchanted mushroom, so this one is way, way cheaper, and that is going to be crafted, I think, something like this. It's going to be one red mushroom in each of the corners, and then one brown mushroom on each of the edges, and that crafts the night vision charm. Next thing I have to do is reforge these, and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna reforge them like I've reforged everything else, which is just entirely too forceful. I don't know if this is right. It might not be right, and I'm probably gonna have to fix it later. And with that done, I'm pretty sure that is all of the talismans that I'm going to be looking at for now. And that brings me to a total of five rare talismans, which is actually pretty good. A bunch of uncommons and a bunch of commons that I'm not going to count right now because I'm too lazy. And I think that'll be good for now. In the last episode, I said that I'd be grinding for Ender Armor, but after that episode, I had a much better idea, which is I forgot that I can just buy Dragon Fragments. Like, I can just buy these, and so that means if I go into the bazaar, and then I buy enough Dragon Fragments to craft Dragon Armor, I can just get dragon armor. My two options that I really have are either going to be unstable or young. I don't think I want to go for strong quite yet, just because that's a lot more expensive, but unstable and young are both pretty good but for different reasons. Unstable of course is just going to have a lot more crit damage, and so that means that I'll actually be able to probably one-tap 5k's. I'm not sure on that, but I think so. But young of course means that I'll be able to do zealots a lot faster. I don't think that Though, that speed is going to be my main issue with doing zealots, so for now I'm probably going to go with unstable. Making a buy order for enough unstable frags is going to be a little bit expensive, but it's pretty cheap. It's only 575k, and wow, I'm... <laughs> I'm really glad I'm not playing on Iron Man. With a little bit of waiting and a couple of bizarre resets, I finally have enough dragon fragments to craft a full set of unstable armor, and I'm pretty sure all I have to do is have 10 of each in each slot, and that will be really, really easy. With this entirely crafted, I'm gonna reforge it, enchant it, and here comes the montage. With that all done, I can finally try on and use this set. I'm actually really surprised as to how easy this was, and in total, when I wear it, I actually get 
nothing. I still get no stats, and that's because I'm only combat 15, and it requires combat 16. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the end like I did before, and probably just grind some Endermen for a little bit, and I don't think this is gonna take super long for me to unlock combat 16, because of course I can two-tap these. Okay, I was tired of not having a god potion because I kind of feel like that'd be really useful now. So I went out, bought a god pot. The very first thing I've bought with bits on this profile, and it's just because I'm really, really lazy. <laughs> So I just finished getting combat 16, which you can see there, and in that like half as much time that I spent grinding, I got an ender helmet, ender boots, and a comet enderman pet. Magic find kinda go crazy. With that done, I can finally equip my unstable dragon armor. I look really silly in my opinion, but I now have 1450 health, and I'm dealing 6000 damage per hit with a god pot, which is like a 50% improvement from what I had before. I'm pretty sure it also means that when I'm not using a god pot, I'll still have a 100% crit chance, which means that I can grind a lot more efficiently and consistently. I can also go ahead and put my enderman pet in my pet menu, and I can use it now, which is really, really nice, because surprisingly, a common enderman is actually one of the best early game damage pets. Now that I can use this, I think I might actually be able to start grinding zealots. I don't think it'll be very fast, so I really don't know how efficient this is going to be, but I can three tap them, which means that although it's not going to be super quick, if I get a summoning eye, that'll be huge. So I've been grinding a bit and I just switched lobbies because I had a dragon and I got really lucky and found a super early lobby. In total, I haven't really gotten anything useful yet, don't have any eyes, but I did get an obsidian chest plate and I've been getting a ton of ender pearls, which are a little bit of money. Also, because my enderman pet is only common, that means it levels super, super quickly, which is why I said earlier that it was one of the best early game pets. I realize I didn't actually explain why that is, but yeah, it's because it's common, so it levels super fast, but it still has decent stats. Like right now, it's giving me 36% crit damage, and it's only at level 48. That means once I level it up a decent bit more, which is really, really fast, of course, I'll be getting it to like... 80 crit damage once it's max, I'm pretty sure, which is going to be really, really good. It also has the somewhat useful perk of making me take less damage from end mobs, which is really nice because I can just kind of tank through these guys. If I didn't have that and if I didn't have my unstable, these guys would be a lot meaner than they are. Same goes for zealots. Even if the zealots hit me once or twice, it's still not that bad. Like, see, if I take a hit, it's only like one health bar and I regen almost instantly because of the god pot. While my main goal here right now is, of course, just to get a summon eyes so I can say that I've done it. I also have the goal of getting the aspect of the end recipe, which is 25,000 ender pearls. I'm also probably gonna place down enderman minions on my island so I can level that up as well, because that'll make things a lot faster. However, this is a lot of ender pearls. I just realized that because my inventory was full for a little bit, there are a ton of my ender pearls scattered all around the island, and so if I go pick some of those up and it looks like some from other people, and that means that I'll actually have a lot of ender pearl collection building up over time. So I've been grinding for a little while, but I realized I kind of probably need a sword upgrade. In total, I got around 150,000 coins just from grinding like ender pearls and scavenger coins and all those regular sorts of things. And I have another 70,000 coins, which I can collect once these strong dragons fragments sell. But one of the things that I really, really need is a Raider's Axe. On a normal profile, this would be really easy because I could just go and buy one from the auction house for like 150k, or I could just ask somebody to buy it directly from the merchant for me for 140k. Of course, on this profile, I can't do either of those, which means I have to unlock the merchant trade myself, but that's not as simple as it seems. To get the Raider's Axe, you need three things. Of course, first, you just need a raw fish. That's really easy. I can get that super easily. But I also need two other things. I need a fish hat and I need a magical water bucket. The fish hat is in the raw fish collection and the magical water bucket is in the ice collection. I'm probably going to replace all four of my quartz minions with ice minions just so this goes a little faster. I'm pretty sure that compactors work for ice minions, but if they don't, I'll be kind of sad. Okay, well, that didn't take very long at all. Now I have two tier six and two tier seven ice minions, 
all with medium storages, and of course they have those compactors. However, while I'm waiting for those to go, there is actually something else really important I have to do, and that is get the fish hat in order to buy the trade. To get the fish hat, I only have to unlock fish collection one, which is really easy because it's only 20 fish, but that does mean I have to fish. First thing I'm gonna do is just buy a fishing rod. Of course, this is the only fishing rod I can really get. However, I am going to enchant it just a little bit. Because in theory, this could actually be the fishing rod I used throughout my entire playthrough, just through upgrading it through the different crafts. I'm gonna put some decent enchants on it, because why not? They're gonna stay around until I lose it, I guess. Okay, I went ahead and enchanted it. Yes, it might be a little bit overkill just for a regular vanilla fishing rod, but that also means that I can go ahead and use this to start fishing. It will, however, be very, very slow. Okay, well, I fished for like five minutes, got to fishing five, which was actually a lot faster than I remember it, and I unlocked the fish hat collection. So that means I can go ahead, craft the fish hat, it's really cheap, and now all I have to do is wait for my ice minions to be done, and I can go buy the raider sacks. I've also been fishing long enough to see if the compactors work on the ice minions, and... <sighs> okay, they do. That is a big relief, and that also means that all I have to do is kind of just wait. So, I actually ended up going to bed, and I can see now that I have woken back up, I have a ton of ice collected here, so I can collect it even just just one gets me all the way up to ice collection five, so I'm pretty sure if I collect all of these, it'll get me at least ice collection six or seven. I'm also gonna go ahead and collect the rest of my minions, since like, why not? And I'll be back once I've done that. Oh, I also just realized that I don't know when this happened, but I unlocked the feather ring. Um, cool, so now I'll, all I need is two more enchanted feathers, and I can go ahead and craft that for another uncommon talisman. I'm probably gonna leave these chicken minions down until I unlock the feather artifact, just because it's a really, really cheap talisman. Now, all I need left to go and buy the raider's axe is three iron and an enchanted ice, and then I can craft the magical water bucket. The last thing I'm gonna need is one raw fish, and I think with that, I'm ready to go. I'm pretty sure this isn't actually anything new to anybody, but just in case you don't know how to do this, to unlock the Melancholic Vikings uh, trading menu, you have to shift in front of him with a fish hat, like... 20 times or something, so then he remembers the smell of the water. Then you have to cook a raw fish, and then you have to put out his fire with the magical water bucket. This is a very weird quest. I really don't know who thought this was a good idea to add into the game, but with that, I've unlocked the shop for the Melancholic Viking, and I have enough coins so I can go ahead and buy the Raider Sacks. Now that I have this, there is a couple things that I need to do, namely enchanting it, and that will be a lot of Grand XP bottles, and so I'm gonna probably just put that all into a montage, and I'll see you guys once I'm done with that. Now that that's done, I'm actually really happy with how this came out. I decided to go ahead and use hot potato books and also decent enchants on basically everything. Although I don't have max wood collection for it yet, meaning I don't have the max strength, and because I definitely don't have enough kills on it yet, it's not going to be super great. It's still going to be pretty decent, and right now, I will be dealing... 11,000 damage to Enderman with it. And remember, this thing costed me like basically nothing at all and I'm still super, super early game. And with my other weapon, I was only dealing like half of this. And so that means I'll be really, really close to being able to actually one tap and grind zealots. I realize actually, if I switch over from execute, which I have it on right now to prosecute, there is a chance that I'll be able to one tap zealots, which would be really, really nice because then I could actually grind zealots pretty efficiently. And yeah, there we go. Prosecute five has been applied. And now I can go test whether or not that's actually that much better with execute five i was dealing like 11.5 thousand damage per hit and now <laughs> now i'm dealing above 13,000 damage per hit meaning that in the first like 
few days of playing on this profile, really, I can actually go ahead and grind Zealot, so that is a massive bonus. Once I start leveling up the kills on this, it won't really even matter whether or not I have a, um, a god pot on, because eventually I'll just be able to actually efficiently grind Zealots without a god pot, and then I can start brewing my own potions, and at some point I'll be able to have enough money that I can actually have continuous god pots like basically anybody further into the game would. So I'm back from grinding again, and this time I actually got a summoning eye, which is super sick, and right now summoning eyes are around 900k, yeah, so I can create a sell offer, 890,000 coins, and that is going to be a pretty decent source of money for me right now. For now though, the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is a way to expedite the process of getting to the aspect of the end, so I'm going to switch out some of my minions over to enderman minions. The first one that I'm going to pick up is my pig minions because I really don't have anything useful that I'm going to get from them. I'm also going to pick up my mushroom minions because they also aren't really going to provide much. And because I'm going to wait on this for the tree cap and this for the talisman, I'll leave these down and I'll leave these down for a little while longer just so I can get my collection up on them. So now I have five minion slots that I can use. I think I'm probably going to put down three enderman minions, probably tier five or tier seven. And then I'm also going to be putting down two pumpkin minions, and that's just because I kind of want the pumpkin talisman or the farmer orb, whatever it's called, except I really just don't want to have to build a farm quite yet into this profile. So if I do that, it'll take a little while, they'll be kind of slow, but it'll get there. I also realized because I'm starting to get enough money that I can actually invest back into my minions, I should probably finally bite the bullet and buy a couple of super compactors. So I'm going to go ahead and buy five super compactors just directly off the bazaar for a little under three mil which will hurt my bank a lot but it'll also mean that all of these will be able to be a lot more efficient when I'm using them. Now that I have this I can place this pumpkin minion down there, this pumpkin minion down there, and I can give it a super compactor and a medium storage. With all of my minions now set up with super compactors and of course with their storages, I think I can pretty safely say that I've done everything I've wanted to do for this episode. I'm very close to having my um, feather talisman done and the lapis artifact, which has taken so incredibly long to unlock and I'm super, super close. Oh, wow. Okay, I was planning on just doing the outro there, but I actually realized I can actually just go ahead and get that artifact as well. That'll be a really good epic talisman, and I'm pretty sure all I need for it is nine enchanted lapis blocks, which really isn't that expensive. For an epic talisman, I'm pretty sure this is one of the cheapest. Yeah, it's only 550,000 coins. I can go ahead craft it like that and there we go experience artifact is now my second epic talisman unsurprisingly i'm also gonna reforge this one to forceful and so now i can put that up with my other epic talisman and that means by the end of this episode i have a total of two rows and five talismans so 23 talismans that's a lot better than it was before and i have a better sword a better armor I have much better minions set up, and I'm pretty satisfied with my progress today. In the next episode, I'm going to start taking on some of the other skills, so I'm going to be leveling up farming, probably going to do a few contests, and I'm going to start leveling up fishing. I'm also going to level up foraging a little bit, just so I can increase the collection on the raider's axe and increase my damage as well, and with that, I'm pretty sure that just about wraps it up for this video. If you've enjoyed watching this series as much as I've enjoyed playing it and recording it, I would really appreciate if you went down, subscribed, liked, and commented your support and future video ideas. Right now, Skyblock is in a kind of difficult place. I don't have a ton of video ideas, and nor do most of the other creators that you watch, so it would really mean a ton if you went down and showed some support. If you're still only mostly interested in my guides, I promise I will have some coming soon. It's just that there isn't really a ton for me to make guides on right now. With that, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I'll see you later, and adios.